If your rent has doubled, there are different ways to cope with the situation and make it through your days. There are therapeutic methods, such as playing darts with a picture of your landlord's private body parts. You can get a roommate, or two, or three, or four. Build a loft and squeeze more beds onto every floor. You can scratch up each Mercedes that you find on your street. Say, piss off yuppie scum to each yuppie scum you meet. But do not kill your landlord. It will not end well. You'll be living rent-free inside a prison cell. You can pay a visit very early in the morn to where your landlord lives, but don't forget the bullhorn. You can form a samba band, march up and down his road. You can play with firecrackers as you watch them explode. You can sing a song about 1848 when renters burned the mansions down and over through the state. You can talk about your landlord, how much you'd like to see him dead. Just make sure it remains only something that you said. Yes, do not kill your landlord. It will not end well. You'll be living rent-free inside a prison cell. And say hi to your neighbors. Organize a meeting. Form a tenants' union so it won't be something fleeting. Have some demonstrations. Make plans for a rent strike. Create a list of demands. Perhaps something like no more rent increases. Fix the things that break. Get rid of all that mold in the walls. For goodness sake, no more no cause evictions. No more acting like an ass. No more acting like a member of a feudal ruling class. Yes, do not kill your landlord. It will not end well. You'll be living rent free inside a prison cell. Thank you.